Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is D, but she has no voice whatsoever. So I'm going to do the voiceover for her makeup tutorial today. So first off, D decided to text me to ask what type of makeup she should do today. As you can see, initially I told her to ask Siri, which was something she wasn't that keen on. So then I decided to say to her to do a Mardi Gras look, so we'll see what she does with my suggestion. Dee's general response when she doesn't like something is to send a hockey gift that makes no sense. Dee also hasn't learned how to uh, do anything other than a brown smoky eye, so it will be interesting to see her pop something on that has a little bit of colour, a little bit of life, and something a little bit different to something that she normally does on a daily basis. As you can tell, she's super impressed with me and knows exactly what she's going to do. So she's going to start off with some primer. She's got to cover up all those big ass pores that she's got. And then we've got our Jeffree Star mirror, which she's loving. Also, please ignore the bad lighting in this video. As you know, we've got some new lights and we're experimenting. She's doing a new mix here. She's gonna mix some oils in with her NARS. That NARS is one of the ones that's a bit more full coverage and she said it was too cakey. So I recommended her popping a little bit of oil in there. So now she's gonna beat her face and make herself look somewhat presentable, maybe? We'll see how this goes. And back to the Owl Reliable to cover up those old dark bags under the owl eyes, some nice shape tape, which reminds me I need to get some because it's my best friend and it's nearly gone. She looks so attractive right now, I have to say. You blend that, girl. Blend that in. Look at her punching herself in the eye. We all know that she enjoys bruises, but you know, it's probably a bit much when you start giving yourself a black eye most days. As you can see, she's absolutely expert in popping this on her face. Not that it's going all over herself at all. So, she's gotta wait now. Joys of baking. Who knows what she's gonna do in the time. And now it's time for the brows. All done. Imagine being able to click your fingers and do that. On to the Norvina palette. This is very boring. This is not Mardi Gras at all. Blend in those colours and now we're going into colour. Yes, yes, this is what I wanted. Oh, is she going purple? Maybe? No, brighter, brighter. We want brighter. Let's go brighter. Oh, look at that. Now she's popping some nice purple into the crease with her big fluffy-ish brush. That's quite nice actually. Oh, that's a very dark color. Not as dark on the eye as we thought, though. Okay, the payoff from that color is not as good as I was expecting. So she's going darker. Yes, going in for that black color. Hmm, let's see. Now, my impression of Mardi Gras would have been very, very bright. So we're going for a cook crease. Let's see what she does with this. She's popping some shape tape into the crease. You can see how nervous she is. She's actually genuinely scared of what she's doing here, but she's done it quite well at this point. So let's see what's next. She's got that nice cook crease, that nice purple, black. She's so confused. Oh, this is an older palette. This is called Vice. She's terrified. If you cannot tell, this girl does not like intense colors. Oh, that's a that's a green. That is a bright, bright green. Would you look at that? She hates it. She actually genuinely hates it. Back to this Couture palette. Just trying to blend out. And then into Thirsty. Oh, bright yellow. Bright yellow. We do love this palette. 
The colors in this palette are incredible and there's so much payoff of it. The first time she wore it, she met me for lunch and she had used the orange color and I was like, oh, that's that's an orange eye. Oh, that's, that's an inner corner highlight. Wow, <laughs> look how surprised she is that she likes colors. Now, brushing along the lower lash line, she's back into her wing. We don't know how we feel about her in the wing. She gave it a month where she didn't use a wing. And she does have a video almost ready to go with her impressions of not wearing eyeliner for a month. So pop a like and a comment below if you want to see that. Mm, I want a bigger wing. I wanted a bigger wing. For a Mardi Gras look, she needed bigger. Bigger lashes, bigger wing, lots of glitter. I did say glitter to her when I text her, but is she going to do it? Off camera puts on lashes. How many bets that was 40 minutes in between? Because you can see the change in the light. Okay, she put too much. Bit of fallout there. But onto the butter bronzer to give herself a nice glowy look. We do love a little bit of a glow. Look at all those colors and how pretty it is. Now she's popping on some contour. It should be fairly intense for a Mardi Gras look. But we know that everyone likes to do their makeup their own way. I'm really liking that yellow inner corner highlight. It keeps catching my eye as I'm doing this. Oh, that blush. That blush she uses from Hourglass. I try to steal every single time that we do our makeup together. Now we've got some Lavender Snow by Jeffree Star. The absolute most incredible highlighter you will ever have. Um, we have different shades in us. Between us, I think we have about four. D hates lashes, so as we can see, she is already struggling with them. Ooh, she's going in for a nude lip. Nudie pink, that's all she does on her lips. Considering we just got the Jeffree Star mystery box, which we will link up in the corner above, maybe up in that one. She's not sure, she can't remember where they are. She's gone for a very basic color in the Jeffree Star box, considering the colors that we received. Um, she could have gone for one of the really bright pinks, which would have been very pretty. Oh, she did her hair by just bending down. Don't we all wish we had that super pair? So there we go, is her finished Mardi Gras look. I really love that yellow inner corner. It's really pretty. Actually, she did a really good job with those colors. Totally outside her comfort zone. Give it a like, pop in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to follow us on social media and you will see us all very soon when she has her voice back and I'm back filming. We love you all. We will see you soon in our next video. Like, subscribe, do all the usual things. Bye guys, see you soon. Oh, the lashes are off. The lashes are off, they didn't even last.